Hey, this is Brett, and today I'm extremely excited to show you this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sport S package. This is stock number 24J37. I'm here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. And the reason I'm excited to show you this particular Jeep Wrangler is because this is the very first Sport or Sport S uh, package that we've had for 2024 on the Wrangler. And I wanted to confirm a bunch of stuff. And the other really cool thing about this one is that is a, this one is a Sport S package, but it's really loaded up. It's got a lot of extras on it. So it's a really loaded up Sport S package. And let's just get right into it. So one of the big things for 2024 was that they redesigned the grill on the Jeep Wrangler. And this is not the redesigned grill. So on Jeep's website, they made it pretty clear that they were not gonna give the Sport or the Sport S package the new grill. They are gonna have the classic grill from 2023. Uh, you can see that the grill um, inserts there are, or the openings are longer. The new ones are like, I would say like that and then they're black down here. And uh, the grill itself, these openings are shorter. So it's definitely a difference uh, there. Um, this one has the LED lighting group. So while it is not the uh, factory LED lights that have come standard now on the Saharas and Rubicons, this is the optional LED lighting group that Jeep offers um, for the Sport S package only. And what's kind of neat is that you can see, um, you get the normal headlights that you would and the normal fog lights that you would on like the Rubicon or the Sahara, but the ones in the fenders are still the halogen lights. So that's an interesting thing to check out. This one has the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine and it's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. Uh, the Sport S wheels, they almost look like Sahara wheels. They're painted and polished aluminum. The other new thing for 2024, the center caps have changed. Um, and of course, the style of the wheels are all new for 2024. These are 17 inch wheels and it also new for 2024 are the type of tires they have on here. These are Nexon Rodian ATX tires. These are 24575 R17s. You can see the tread pattern there on them and kind of cool design, little lug nuts on the side there and rock pattern on the side as well. And this one also for new for 2024, um, wanted to verify that the Sport S package would not get an antenna, uh, that they would have the antennas in the windshield, which they do. And this is also Corning Gorilla Glass for 2024. And then you get a trail rated badge on the side where the antenna used to be. T50, to take these doors off, the Torx 50 wrench, we did a video on how to take your doors off your Jeep Wrangler. JL, that still applies to the 2024. You can check that out in the description below and uh, in the upper right hand part of the screen. Here's the original window sticker. Really excited to show you this just because of all the options on it. It's got good price breakdowns and everything. Uh, 2024 Wrangler four-door Sport S, two liter turbo, eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment on the Sport S package. 12.3 um, display, Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, Sirius XM, Firecracker Red is the color on this one, $595 optional uh, price on there. Customer preferred package, the 22S or Sport S package, that's what 22S stands for, is a $3,500 option. Now that gives you the, P the power heated mirrors, the premium wrapped steering wheel, the windshield with Corning Gorilla Glass, anti-lock four wheel disc brakes, deep tint sunscreen windows, remote keyless entry, full speed forward collision warning plus, adaptive cruise control, advanced brake assist and sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors. So that $3,500 gives you everything. And you know, just for the full speed forward collision warning and the adaptive cruise control, I think that's a pretty good deal. Plus all the power windows, locks and mirrors. LED headlamp and fog lamp group is $1,495 and uh, gives you the LED fog lamps and the headlights. This one has a trailer tow and heavy duty electrical group, which is $1,195. 
gives you the auxiliary switches, which are right there. It also gives you the 240 amp alternator, 700 amp maintenance free battery, receiver hitch, seven and four pin wiring. The convenience group, which is a $1,995 option, I think it's pretty a uh, pretty nice group. Gives you the seven inch LCD display, the heated front seats, the heated steering wheel, the front door passive entry and lock, or the enter and go system as some people call it. Remote start, air conditioning with automatic temperature control, or the dual climate controls. Universal garage door opener, emergency assistance, and call. So that $1,995, that's probably your best valued package on the whole uh, thing here. Technology group is $1,295. Now I was asked about this online in one of the other videos that I did, and people were asking how to get NAV on the Sport S package. And I thought the technology group would do it because on Jeep's website, it shows a picture of a navigation screen when you add this group. And it does not, this does not have the navigation system. So you just get the premium audio system with the technology group um, with the Sport S package. So something to note right there. Hard top headliner by Mopar 625. The all weather floor mats are 170. Eight speed automatic transmissions, $2,500. And the black three piece hard top is 1495. Black side steps are 495. The all terrain tires are 495 and the 17 inch Aluminum wheels are $1,095. Black fuel door filler, black fuel filler door by Mopar is $145. Total MSRP on this one is a pretty pricey Sport S package, $54,785. But when you consider everything that this one has, this is loaded up pretty much like a Sahara. And, uh, you know, just as nice in my opinion. The wheels and everything look great. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. And then your fuel economy is 20, 20, 20 right across the board. Uh, four per fuel economy and greenhouse gas rating and seven on smog. It's not rated for the five star government safety ratings yet. But we'll check out the interior in just a second. There's the new radio um, cloth interior. Those are the side steps by Mopar that we just saw on that uh, window sticker. Notice the tail lamps are not LEDs either. Those are the standard halogen lights. You do get the receiver hitch with the four pin and seven pin wiring there. Matching spare, there's a better look at the tread pattern on there. Back storage area. Now the technology group gives you the Alpine premium sound with the subwoofer. So uh, that is a pretty nice thing to have. The sound system is way better with the uh, Alpine, in my opinion. Get your case for your front hard top pieces, the insulated hard top, which helps keep the heat in in winter and keep the sound out at any time. Um, just a little bit quieter with that, a little bit better, uh, not as echoey inside the cabin as well. So you get three bolts on each side, two on the top um, for a total of eight bolts, two quick disconnects to get this hard top off. We actually did a demo on, an, on a JL Wrangler. The only difference is where these store, these store in a little container down here now, as opposed to they had a piece right there. But if you want to check that video out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Uh, they haven't changed anything with the storage area back here. You get a nice storage area, door hinge, roof, and um, windshield bolt holders. And then you get the seven slots on the back door, the JL badge, two door, four door wheelbase and overall length and water fording on there as well glass and everything still closes exactly the same as the 2023. There's that black fuel filler door. Hard top is exactly the same on the outside. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see you get the trail rated badge on the driver's side as well. Heated power mirrors, the enter and go system. Uh, I'm going to show you back here just because it's a little bit easier. The back seats, you get the latch child safety system. These headrests can fold down for better visibility when nobody's sitting back here, and they do go down pretty much flat. Um, one thing is that they've changed these lights to where you have individual map lights for the driver, passenger, and the rear occupants. And then the other thing that is new on the 2024s and I wanted to verify is that the Sport S package does come with these side curtain airbags. So that is 
new for 2024. The all weather floor mats are the same as they've always been. And you do get child safety locks on the back doors still. Inside the Sport S package gives you the, I think they call it black. They call it black interior. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is black or gray. I was gonna say gray to dark charcoal, but they call it black. Anyways, driver's seat height adjuster, lumbar. Now, you can get power seats in the Sahara and the Rubicon with the power, uh, with the leather. Uh, if you get the leather seats, you get the power on there. Not available in the Sport, unfortunately. The all-weather floor mat in front. This is new for 2024 is the Wrangler and the Gladiator backed up to each other. You get this gold trim on the Sport package, or Sport S package, I kind of like that. And that goes into the steering wheel, as well as the stitching on the seats. Yellowish, gold, looks really good. Power mirrors, power locks with the Sport S package as well. Hop inside, check out the instrument cluster, which that's the same as it always has been, the seven inch LCD display. You get the Wrangler animation at the beginning and a digital speedometer, compass, all that good stuff. Heated leather wrap steering wheel with that convenience group. Adaptive cruise control, standard on the Sport S package and cruise control right there. Bluetooth and information center controls on the left and audio controls on the back. So here is the Uconnect 5 12.3 inch radio. And as you see, there is no navigation setting right there. So um, you can't get the nav on a Sport S right now. So, um, and it is September 9th, or is it August? No, oh, it's sep September 9th right now, 2023. So as of today, I don't think you can get the nav on a Sport S. Anyways, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on here. Um, you get your climate controls on here as well, including uh, your dual climate controls heated seats, heated steering wheel controls, your Bluetooth phone, your vehicle. You can check out your backup camera. They've made those crystal clear on the Wranglers and standard. Uh, so really nice. I thought maybe the camera would be as wide as the screen, but they just put this Jeep logo there so that they didn't have to recalibrate how big that camera was. So that's interesting. Um, anyways, here are all your apps that you have. Uh, I'm not going to go through everything. If you ever want me to go through any of this stuff, just let me know in the comments below and I can make a special video for that. Uh, you do get the off-road pages, which I will show you because those are pretty neat. You get your steering angle and your transfer case if it's locked or unlocked. As I turn that steering wheel, you can see that those wheels actually turn on the display there, which is pretty cool. You also have your latitude, longitude, and altitude and accessory gauges. You also have your pitch and roll. I think these would be really helpful, especially like your trans temp if you're pulling something. Um, so always nice to see that stuff. And then you have your system and your other. And the other thing is that you can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So while this one doesn't have the factory navigation system, project your phone up there with Waze or Google Maps and it's like you have nav right in the screen. So you can do that anyways. That's, that's just as easy. Plus, if you use Google Maps all the time, it's a lot. I think it's nicer than the factory one. Push button start, dual climate controls, more tactile. Everything from the air vents down is the same as the 2024, or I'm sorry, as the 2023. Uh, the vents are different. They used to be on the side of the 8.4, big circles like, like those. Um, but now they're below the radio because it's so wide. And then you get, this is different up here a little bit as well. Anyways, 8-speed automatic transmission, your 4x4 shifter, your keyless entry with remote start. You get that flipper key on there. And you get that cloth dash with the gold stitching on it. And then up here, you get the insulated hardtop pieces. And I was just in a two-door Rubicon that didn't have the insulation. And it was a lot louder. Like, just me talking and the, the echo was, was way different than this vehicle. So I think with these... And then the premium sound system that I think it sounds really great in this particular Wrangler. Um, so something to think about if you're getting one or going to order one, get the insulated hardtop with the premium sound. SOS assist uh, buttons and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. All right. I'm going to turn on all the lights 
and going to do a final walk around. I'm going to turn off all the lights in the picture studio here so you can see just how bright the LED and fog lamp light group is. And as you can see, these, these are just the normal halogen amber colored bulbs in there. Let me pause it. I'll turn off all the lights and we'll do a final walk around. All right, so even without the LED lights in the fenders, the uh, LED headlight and fog lamp group is definitely an upgrade over the halogen lights. And you can see just how nice and bright they are. I would definitely, if you're getting a Sport S package, get those on every other trim level, they're standard. The Sport package, you cannot get the LED light group. Um, so you gotta go to the Sport S and then get the LED light group if you want those LED lights. LED license plate lights are standard though, and then the back lights are the halogen. And uh, definitely let me know what you think of this particular Wrangler, this particular build. I think this is a really nice package and you know, priced pretty considerably you know, reasonable for what you all get on this particular Wrangler. And if you like the color, let me know in the comments as well. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other four, 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube, almost 9,000 videos up there and almost 500 Wrangler specific videos on our YouTube channel, which is pretty awesome. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sport S in fire, firecracker red clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.